All right, guys, so for today, I'm gonna be doing uh, one of two things. Um, taking off this cover right here, but that's not actually gonna be so easy because uh, this acorn nut right here, it actually seized to the actual uh, stud that goes, that comes up and uh, it's just spinning. And so basically I have to uh, take these off and like just keep spinning it and then pull out the whole stud and then separate the stud and that. And uh, it's actually easier said than done, but I'm gonna be doing that. And then I'm gonna take off the distributor and uh, just checking for leaks and everything. I have a real bad leak right here, as you guys seen in the previous video. And uh, fortunately, uh, it's above the head gasket, so it's like around this area. So it's one of these seals for sure that, you know, it's actually leaking. But I'm going to end up by just taking off the distributor and this right here and uh, exposing this whole side and see exactly what's going on. Yeah, it's a little bit damped in there, but I don't really see that much uh, oil. But it's literally just raining down right here. I'll put the light on. All right, so that's with the light on right there. And as you can see, it's pretty bad. And uh, yeah, it's like right there. See all that grime right here? So, just gonna take everything off and uh, clean it and reseal it. All right, so I'm gonna end up uh, resealing it with this. It's uh, Ultra Gray Advanced Formula Permatex. And uh, it's OEM certified and it's gasket maker and uh, this uh, ultra gray, I've always had a good um, results with this one and not really like that color, that orange colored one, but usually I had a good results with this one. So I'm gonna end up uh, taking off all the seals and stuff and maybe even the cam cap. I'm gonna take that off and put a little bit of this. We'll see how it goes. All right, so the actual problem I'm having is that these are binding up like I'm literally taking out the stud from inside so I got to do these in like in a pattern and then now it's kind of like binding up with the nut that's underneath that's actually holding the um, the valve cover because these are just you know to hold on this cover I'm actually probably not even going to run this cover anymore because I've been having this issue. So let me uh, get this off and then separate the bottom nut from the acorn. All right, so so actually, these were actually binding up with these, and these were coming off together. So this time, the stud is actually not even off. So I haven't even been able to get this off for a while because I've just been lazy to take this off. But I'm gonna tighten these up, take out the plugs, and uh, clean up the plugs real quick too, and then um, take out the wires distributor. I just ended up taking off the grommets and uh, cleaning up the grime. Everything's right there. Just getting it uh, semi-clean, been neglecting it and stuff. So, still a lot of oil in here. But yeah, so. All right guys, so kind of hard to actually pinpoint where but everything is just pretty grimy and uh, kind of looks like the bolts around the bolts it could be leaking or around these sensors but it looks pretty grimy all the way in there and just goes to the front right there hmm even all this is just grimy looking. 
So it could be, okay, so it, if it's as high as this right here, it could be the spool valve, which is another seal right there. And yeah, so what I'm just gonna end up doing, just taking off the, uh, the VTEC solenoid and taking off the spool valve and putting a little seal in in there and around the VTEC solenoid gasket. It's all new, but it's still leaking. And since there is um, oil up here, I really doubt it's a heady gasket leaking oil, but I'm gonna button this up and let's see if it, if it actually uh, improves some. And I'm actually gonna reseal the valve cover too, so. All right guys, so took off the spool valve right there. I got the seal right there. And uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, silicone around the perimeter and underneath the seal and uh, tighten it up. Those are the bolts right there. And then uh, once I have that um, buttoned up, I'm gonna end up taking off the whole thing because I think it's better just to do it the way it is because it's stationary and I could uh, work with it better than having the whole um, VTEC solenoid off. Well, yeah, so gonna button this up and then take the actual thing off right now. All right, so I got some on the back side right there. Got some right there, but I'm just gonna apply it on this side and then uh, put it on. And uh, remember, whenever you put this stuff on, you wanna put it hand tight because uh, you don't want everything to like mushroom out. You want it to have a good seal. After about 20 minutes, then you could put it uh, to factory spec, but never put it like all the way on when it's wet because it's just gonna come out the sides anyways. All right, so right there, got a nice little even coat gonna make sure that's even uh, cleaner just make sure there's no debris on this and uh, put it right on and I even clean the solenoid too so looks pretty nice it's all in the detail you know just make it look nice it's just what I say and then uh, hopefully it seals man all right so I even cleaned up the hardware some so gonna let that uh, chill 20 minutes from now gonna uh, torque it down and then take off the whole solenoid and uh, do the same as I did with uh, the spool valve seal and then I'm also gonna probably take off these uh, one of these sensors because probably when it's cooling or whatever but um, and then put a little sealant around those too and yeah all right so the actual gasket actually stuck onto the head but um, I guess I gotta seal that up from the backside and this it looks like it's leaking from the bolts But is that even possible? And it looks like it's leaking from there, too, but Probably just gonna end up uh, siliconing everything on this side of the head just to uh, Put a band-aid a permanent band-aid because I tried fixing it, but it's still leaking so I'm gonna take off this uh, this right here clean up that and uh put it back on with a uh, sealant all right also I'm not sure but that uh junk too it uh looks like it's leaking also so probably gonna put a band-aid over that too with some silicone looks pretty bad but I'm losing so much oil Look at that right there. Well, that's just because it came out the solenoid, but. So it's kind of funny that inside of the uh, seal, there's like this little screen, and I actually found like a few shavings in there. Shavings of what? I don't know, but yeah. The seal's still pretty good. It's still very pliable. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put a bunch of silicone on this make sure it has no like oil residue like it does now and I already cleaned up inside there and yeah so I have some silicone in there just chilling and I'm gonna put that one on there all right so got that nice and uh looks like frosting on a cake right there it's pretty good I'm gonna end up uh, just cleaning all that and uh, remounting it and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this seal because uh, I gotta take off everything in the cam cap and all that but I'm gonna see if this slows it down hopefully it does well actually since I'm here 
I'm just gonna put the uh, take off this cam cap and put some silicone around that seal too since uh, it looks pretty wet underneath and yeah but what kind of sucks is that you got to take everything off and take it off in a sequence put it on a sequence and torque it and everything and it's a good thing I have a torque wrench but man this sucks so while I'm at it I'm just gonna end up doing it so we'll see we'll see how it turns out All right guys, so this is where a little oil leak fix turns into a full-blown repair, which uh, sucks because I didn't want to go this far with it, but it made no sense to not do the cam seal. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and then take off that cam seal next. All right, so from here, it's just uh. No, actually, not that one. It's just these two tens, and then the cam seal pops right up, and then you take the seal off. I'm gonna clean it, put some silicone, and uh, slap this thing back together, cause I don't really wanna be doing this right now. But yeah, I'm gonna look at the uh, this journal right here, and uh, man, that'd be cool if I could take off this journal too to see it, but yeah. It's kinda cool to see the journals and how everything looks, and. So far, it doesn't look like a lot of wear, but I mean, for uh, almost 200K, what do you expect, you know? All right, guys, so let's take this thing off. Let me see. Get that under there, pop it up, because there's gonna be a uh, pretty sure dowels in there. Prayer here, right there. Hmm. Three seals on there, and I did put some silicone in there, and it was leaking. Oops. So yeah. So get underneath the seal so I'm gonna put some uh, better stuff on there and uh, redo it all right guys so I got that full of silicone right there the cam and journal look pretty nice and so now I'm gonna uh, put some silicone on this side and uh, yeah button it back together all right I finally got the uh, top bridge torqued down and uh, it's all siliconed in there, looks pretty nice. And uh, got the spool valve and the actual um, mating surface of the uh, solenoid. And so now everything's uh, back, I just gotta put a little silicone in between here. And uh, cause those are like nice leaking points too. I could probably use another valve cover gasket but I'll pick up an OEM later in time. But uh, so for now, I'm just gonna see if this slows down the leak. If it slows it down, I'm gonna uh, just look further, probably right here, or um, the actual O-ring right here was uh, OEM, so it should be good. But other than that, there's really nothing else that can leak from here, so hopefully it uh, slows it down or stops it, we'll see. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll uh, see you in the next one, guys. All right, guys, so check this out. check engine light and maintenance required so if you want to see what that uh, check engine light is about stay tuned on the next episode <laughs>